Today's topic is Hoover sign. Welcome to our channel, Internal Medicine Made Easy, the online learning platform that provides medical education to healthcare professionals and students to improve their clinical skill and help them in their studies, courses, careers, and research. Historical background weakness that is clinically inconsistent with any recognized neurological disease is a common problem for neurologists although it has been considered to have a physical cause a loss or disturbance of normal function may be attributed to a psychological cause neurologists use physical challenges to elicit motor behaviors or sensory reports discrepant with patterns seen in genuine neurological diseases. Several terms such as non-physiological, non-organic, functional or hysterical have been employed by neurologists to label findings that imply a voluntary or nonsensical component. Dr. Charles Franklin Hoover is remembered primarily for his contributions in distinguishing organic weakness from functional or psychogenic weakness of the lower extremities. In 1908, Hoover published an article in Journal of the American Medical Association in which he described his sign for testing this functional weakness. He described it as follows. If a normal person lying on a couch in the dorsal position be asked uh, to lift the left foot off the couch uh, with the leg extended. The right heel will be observed to dig into the couch as the left leg and thigh are elevated. If you place your hand under the Achilles tendon of the right side and sense the muscular resistance offered by the right leg, you will observe that the right heel is pressed onto the couch with the same force which is exhibited in lifting the left leg of the couch. In other words, the right heel is employed to fix a point of opposition against the couch during the effort to lift the left leg. This will always occur if the healthy person makes a free and uninhibited effort to lift the left leg. Hoover's test, the patient is asked to raise the paralyzed limb. If the patient is making an honest effort, the examiner should feel normal limbs heal, pushing down against uh, his or her hand. Uh, as the patient tries to flex or raise the weak leg's hip, feeling this would indicate an organic cause of the paresis. If the examiner does not feel the normal legs heel pushing down as the patient flexes the hip of the weak limb, then this suggests functional weakness because that effort is not being transmitted to either leg.